This video is available in high resolution at www.howtomakeyourmoneyonline.com The step-by-step -step guide to making your money on the internet. We're going to help you today to create a YouTube video uh, to help you in your efforts to make money online. Now, this is a welcome screen for Adobe Premiere Elements 7. Uh, click on New Project. Give it a name. And click OK. This is the Premiere Elements interface. Now you want to click on Organize and Get Media. It's going to give you the choice to select webcam or WDM device. We're going to click on that. Now this is a capture window for your webcam in Adobe Premiere Element 7. Make sure that your capturing source is set to your webcam and that your audio source is set to the microphone that you want to use, either the one with your sound card or the one that comes with your webcam. Also, I have found that here where it says capture the timeline, split scenes, and smart tagging, I have to have all of those three unselected. They're, they are selected by default when you install the program. But if they are selected, I found that the audio and the video uh, don't sync up properly. And uh, of course, that's very frustrating uh, situation to edit with. It, it can be corrected, um, but it's quite difficult and pokey to do so. So just make sure that, to be safe, those are unselected. Now, here's our capture button. Uh, you should have prepared a script or have an idea of what you're going to say. You click on that capture button, and you're going to pause for a moment, and you'll see why. Now you see I've paused for a few moments, uh, and the reason is that white flash that we see and the period of time when the webcam is adjusting itself to the ambient light conditions in your room. Uh, this happens every time that you hit capture, uh, at least on my system, and uh, the pause is so that you're not uh, talking during that unsightly moment, because it's those unsightly moments that you want to clip out of your final video when you're done. Uh, recording from your webcam. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And uh, basically, this is the point now where you're going to present your message to your YouTube audience. Uh, you're going to give them the tips that you'd like to share with them. You're going to, uh, you know, promote your your product, and you're going to uh, otherwise entertain or amaze them. Okay. So if you made an error, you want to pause for a moment and begin your paragraph again. Uh, if you pause slightly between each paragraph or uh, each major section of your video, uh, you'll find that you have natural points at which to make a cut while you're editing and uh, create a transition, a nice smooth transition between uh, one cut segment and the next. Now uh, we're done recording here, so I'll hit pause. Okay, and if I close the capture window we'll see that uh, Adobe Premiere Elements has uh, put us in an area where we can see the clip that we've just created. Now, um, I'll, I'll, I want to make sure that I can see Video 1 and Audio 1 on my timeline here, and I'm going to drag my clip down onto the Video 1 track. Okay, now there are two views. We have the timeline view that we're using right now and the scene line view. Um, the scene line view is much simpler. It just shows you the first frame of each scene. Um, it can be very useful when you get a number of scenes added up. The timeline uh, gives you a little bit more control, and you know you can zoom in and, and zoom out of your timeline to get a, a closer or a more overall view. And uh, this little element here is your is your shuttle. You can move back and forth uh, in a rough sort of way to a point that you feel you want to watch on your video, press play, preview what's happening, uh, what's being said, and if you find that there's a point, uh, and invariably you, invariably you will, you find that there's a point where you've made an error, um, you can you can use the, the shuttle here tool, a little bit of pressure moves it slowly, a lot more pressure or movement to the right or left uh, moves it faster, 
Um, you can hear sound while you're doing this, so that can help you identify the part where uh, where you want to stop. You can also go frame by frame using the step back and and step forward. But essentially, once you've once you've identified uh, a point where you want to make a cut, uh, use your split clip tool. Okay, um, that's your first cut. You're going to make two if you want to remove something. That's the beginning of the section you want to remove. Uh, you know, go to go to whichever area the, the ending of the of the portion that you want to cut. Fine tune it. Hit split clip, and now you have. If you, for example, you go to your scene line, now you have three clips to choose from: the, the beginning, the middle, the end. As we see in the timeline here, it's the middle that we want to delete. In this case. Uh, I simply select it by the title track of the track there, hit delete, and now we just simply have the two left. And now, of course, you can repeat this process and, and cut away more sections. You can go back into Organize and Get Media and record uh, new sections if you need to add anything or if you found that you've, you, you've cut away so much that you have to uh, repeat a section that you wanted to add back in. And once you've done um, sort of a timeline and you have all your clips in place, you can go to Edit and you can go to Transitions. And between the clips, um, if there's you know an abrupt uh, sort of right there, you can see there's sort of an abrupt visual jump between the two. Um, a really great uh, subtle transition is a cross dissolve. You can you can pull that down in between the two clips uh, indicated by the color change right there and then if we preview that again it's, it's not as as abrupt a transition now the other thing uh, there's many transitions to choose from of course um, you could choose something a little bit fancier perhaps a, a page roll uh, if we give a preview of that it rolls one clip off of the other uh, depending on the, on the tone of your video, the message you're trying to get across, different transitions will lend themselves uh, nicely to your content. Now, once you have your your timeline, your scene line laid out the way that you'd like it, it's time to publish to YouTube. So you're going to click on Share, and you're going to click the Online button. You've got two choices here for presets, my website or YouTube. Keep it on YouTube and click Next. Now this interface will load, uh, which directly from Adobe Premiere Element 7 will let you, uh, you know, type in your username and your password for your YouTube account, and you'll click next. It'll prompt you for a, a title and a description. It'll ask you if you want it to be a, a private or a public video, and it will upload the video for you to YouTube. Um, I recommend uh, after that signing into YouTube with your default browser uh, and choosing my videos in your account and uh, making any other changes um, perhaps you want to monitor uh, comments you can you can make sure that no comments are left beneath your video without you authorizing them um, those types of settings uh, aren't available through this uh, upload interface any changes like that you'll want to go in uh, to YouTube itself through your default browser and make those changes for more information visit Judith Sepp's website now at www.howtomakeyourmoneyonline.com Your step-by-step -step guide to financial success. Subscribe to Judith's eZine to receive the latest online money-making tips and more.